and let us all that we can to build a better future. So, Matt Orfala. That man is an artist. Magnifique. Magnifique. Shout out to Matt Orfala. He's been on the show numerous times. Um, he is a supporter of free speech. I love his work, especially his video compilations where, you know, he's just straight up giving us firm smack. Because here's something that a lot of people have also forgotten. With the smack heard around the world. Remember that Hunter Biden laptop story? Yeah, let's, let's go back to it. This is a wonderful video segment that Matt Orfalo was able to make where it shows the true hypocrisy of corporate media and how they got it wrong. Bays, let's play this lovely video for all the people. Incriminating evidence allegedly found on a laptop belonging to Biden. <laughs> Some sort of Russian, Russian disinformation, disinformation campaign. campaign. One eternity later. Biden emails finally authenticated according to the New York Times. Yeah, it's rewind time. It's a lie. Altered or fake. Unverified emails. The story did not quite land due to the lack of verification. Listen. Can't be verified. What can't be verified? The laptop. Why do you say that? Well, because it can't be verified. I don't even want to report no, this. Well, this is the one of the well, most powerful no, because families Liz, in Washington. Liz, I'm a journalist. Okay, I would love if you guys would start doing that verification. No, we're not going to do your work for you. Can yeah. we pause it here? Contrary. It is a journalist's job to do the verification. Because remember, during the 2020 election, you know, they were all saying the same thing. This is fake news. It's fake news. Let's play it. Not anymore. For all we know, these emails are made up. Not really stories, just pure distractions. No serious journalist should fall for it. It's a journalist's Contrary job to, to, to find out if this is verified. The bottom line is we cannot <laughs> confirm the story. Experts say the emails cannot be authenticated. The mainstream media is not reporting on this story because we can't authenticate this material. Um, uh, the Hunter Biden laptop material is genuine. Genuine. This is a classic example of the right-wing media machine. It just lacks credibility. The fact that it appeared in the New York Post. The only place low enough to put this orphan bastard story in print. Obvious disinformation. It is so obviously a for Russian a second? operation. Here's something I want everyone to remember. When this was published, this story, in 2020 by the New York Post, Facebook and Twitter did everything they could to suppress the New York Post with this article, and you couldn't share it on your Facebook page or your Twitter page. Now, they did that to a legacy media outlet. I don't care what people's opinions are about the New York Post. The New York Post has been a lot longer than Hardlands Media, and they have a large social media following, and they were silenced like that. Remember what happened to the Hill? They were suspended for seven days. Seven days! Recovering a story on CPAC. And then what happens? A few days ago, we just find out the New York Times, the authoritative New York Times, just confirmed, oh, yeah, um, mm. turns out, oh, no, they're real. Wake up. You need another smack? Wake up. This is the stuff that people are forcing you to ignore. This is what's wrong with corporate media. They're lying to us all the time. That's their job. They either serve one political party or the other. CNN has its bias. MSNBC has its bias. Fox News has its bias. All that. They're only there to get access to the politicians and to the rich. They're not here to inform you. And a story like that is embarrassing to them. And it turns out now, all the people who are saying that it's fake news in 2020, turns out the story's real. Hey, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, will there be any kind of consequences or repercussions to ABC, MSNBC, Fox News, CBS, ABC, New York Times, Washington Post? Any one of them? No? Yes? No? I'm going to probably go with no. Let's play the rest of the video. So obviously disinformation. So obviously a Russian plot. Tell obviously. Me why it's obviously a Russian plot to you. This is uh, this classic textbook Soviet Russian tradecraft at work. Right, exactly. And this is classic, very classic uh, Russian classic. disinformation classic. tactic. Your classic disinformation classic. campaign. We shouldn't look at it classic. as anything other than a Russian disinformation operation. Operation. Known Kremlin disinformation. Russians would be my number one guess. Obviously, it's the Russians. Russian disinformation. Operation. It's Russian the Russians pushing Russian disinformation. It does bear the hallmarks of Russian disinformation. Hunter Biden's story is Russian disinfo. Hunter Biden's laptop looks like it's tied to Vladimir Putin in Moscow. 
Is that laptop yours? I don't know. <laughs> I, I truly... The, you don't know? <laughs> the serious answer is that I truly do not know the answer to that. <laughs> Did you leave a, a laptop with a repairman not in that Wilmington? I remember. <laughs> not, not that, that you that remember. remember? No. No. <laughs> I truly don't know. Are you missing a laptop? Not that I know of. What? Pause it. This... Oh! You didn't know you had a laptop? Okay, I'm, I'm seeing my good colleague Daniel Lupker in a live stream chat. Everyone give a thumbs up to Daniel. Could you imagine, you know, if I just one day came to the show and said, I, I forgot the show notes. Faze, could you imagine one day I said, uh, yeah, uh, show notes. How, how did that work? I don't know. Kid, you've been doing show notes now for two years. That's his laptop. Now the New York Times is confirming it's his. So there's Hunter Biden lying on corporate media. This is hypocrisy at its finest. All these authoritative media outlets that are favored by big tech, favored by the algorithm, were promoting a lie. None of them did their freaking job. And I'm angry about this because I can't help but think of that one story that still burns in my heart, and that is Iraq and the weapons of mass destruction. Remember, all those media outlets were saying the same thing, repeating all the talking points of the Bush Cheney administration. There are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. This is another example where it screwed up. Russiagate. Oh, somehow Russia. I'm going to quote, I'm going to quote you here, Daniel, because you're, you're, you're the guy right there. This is Daniel brought it up. Russia's GDP is smaller than South Korea. Somehow Russia is this woogie boogie cart Saturday morning cartoon villain. Oh no. Oh no. Here comes the Russians. They're doing this and they're doing that. It's because of Russia your dog is dead. It's because of Russia that you didn't get that McDonald's Happy Meal. It's because of Russia it's cold outside. It's because of Russia that you don't have gas in your car. It's because of Russia this and Russia that. Evidence! And when the media has to once again step up to do its job, they're covering up for the Democratic Party. Of course, there are conservative media outlets to cover up for the Republican Party too. It's, it's all interconnected. They're all hypocrites. But yet, these are authoritative sources that when you go on YouTube, YouTube is going to bombard you with them. There's a reason why people left corporate media and television for social media and YouTube, because people got tired of its BS. I remember a long time ago when YouTube, especially CNN, Fox, MSNBC, their videos would be a th under 1,000. 1,000 at max, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, kind of, sort of. And now they're so heavily favored. YouTube? Any kind of repercussions to their channels for lying? For not doing their job? I know, remember YouTube, you're a private corporation, but you're kind of at, you're sort of like in this weird position where you're sort of making yourself act like a publisher. And if you, and if you walk down that path, YouTube, that's a decision. If you want to become a publisher, you're opening up a whole new can of worms. And you ain't ready for that. Let's play the rest of the video because I want people to laugh. Wake up. This whole operation looks right out of the Kremlin playbook. The playbook of Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation put into the haystack. Russian disinfo. Sounds like bullshit. I mean, who takes a laptop with their most personal information, drops it off, and never comes back for it? <laughs> you read the book and you'll realize that I wasn't keeping the tabs on possessions very well for about a four-year period of time. The Russian disinformation campaign. Disinformation from the Russians. Putin is trying very hard to spread disinformation about Joe Biden. The Biden campaign campaign says this is Russian disinformation. There's overwhelming evidence that the Russians are engaged. Russians are engaged. It's a Russian plan. Russian disinformation. Nobody Russian believes it except the, his and his good friend Rudy Gianni. So could have been yours. Of course, certainly. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. History will expose <laughs> you all as fools and useful idiots for the Russians. <laughs> the idiocy. The sheer idiocy. <laughs> 50 former intelligence officials signed on to a letter yesterday saying that the New York Post story about Hunter Biden's emails has all of the classic earmarks of a Russian disinformation campaign. Russia Giuliani. Don't trust anything that he's telling you. This is Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation campaign. Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation campaign. Russian disinformation meant to harm our democracy. Disinformation by the Russians. The fruits of a foreign intelligence operation. Part of that bigger Russian disinformation 
effort. A Russian intelligence operation. Connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort. Linked to a foreign intelligence operation. Connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort. Tied Russia. to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort. Connected to a Russian disinformation campaign. Linked to a foreign intelligence operation. Likely coming from Russia, right, Russian intelligence. Two people familiar with the matter told NBC News. We now know that Russian disinformation or foreign disinformation or even this, you know, campaign disinformation period is as dangerous to our democracy as anything exposed in these emails. Shout out to Matt Orfala. Thank you for all the hard work you probably put into that video. Everyone, if you're not subscribed to Matt Orfala or follow him on all the social media pages, please do so. Look, folks, he uh, he's he, he's sitting through all that stuff. Um, so he deserves a lot of followers and support uh, because I don't know how his brain walked through that nightmare. Break away from the two-party system. Break away from corporate media because they're never going to do their job. Support independent media. Support free speech. And don't trust these jagoff politicians. They don't like you, and they're never going to think about you. And this year, they have the audacity to ask you, hey, please vote for us. Please vote for us. Please, oh, pretty, please vote for us. By the way, hey, YouTube, any kind of consequence for ABC, MSNBC, Fox News, CBS, CNN for their failures? No? Yes? I'm going to go with no. Hey, audience, let's have democracy in the chat. Let's have a little democracy. just want to test something out here. We got a couple of people here. Type one, if you think YouTube and big tech are finally going to crack down to hold corporate media accountable for its actions. Type one. Type two, if you know nothing will fundamentally change. 